Hello guys, and welcome to Metspeamer. A few months ago, my wife bought me a model BMW E30, but not just any old E30. It's an Alpina C2 2.7, which is like one of the best E30s you can buy. Not only that, it's a convertible. I'm just gonna show you around the car now. So, as you would expect, this car here comes in a box. A pretty standard box, nothing flash or fancy in here. The car is a 1/18th scale model and it is made by the group called the Model Car Group. I'll give the box a quick spin for you. Nothing special as you can see. <laughs> but underneath it has all the information you could dream of, including the website. And um, I believe this car, yeah, this car here was made in Bangladesh, but I, I think the company is a German company. I shall take the car out of the box and take it off the stand for you so you can see it in much better detail. So when you take the model out of the box, this is what you get. A nice plastic plinth with the name of the car, but the thing that lets it down is having cardboard just here, stuck on the center tape. So, I'm going to show you around this car, point at any faults and all the things I like about it. Basically, I like the whole car, it's, in my eyes I love it very much. <laughs> but um, things let it down, for example, this BMW badge, it's a shame that it's flat and level, because in a real car it would be um, like curved up a bit more. So that big dip in the bonnet kind of like ruins the front end, but not too much to worry about it. Bear in mind this car was only £60, which is very cheap. The only thing that lets the headlights down is you can see like the where they fit them in the car, like those black blocks each side. Um, the grille is lovely, um, very realistic. It's a shame that some of the paint was missing there. I think these cars are hand painted though, I'm not too sure. Um, the Alpina badge is on the front side in the right place, up there and down there. Going around to the side of the car, as you can see the Alpina stripes. So I'm trying to focus and zoom in at the same time. Ah, there you go. Um, follow the whole length of the car, and they are accurate too. Um, I don't know why the door handle in this car though is silver, because on the real car it's usually black, unless someone's trying to make it look like a chrome version. Um, yeah, but what I do like is they have a little um, key slot there for the car. Um, yeah, as I said. Um, before this is the 1986 model you can tell because it has like the chrome um, bumpers there you have like chrome on the side strips and you have chrome on the back of the bumper the wheels are lovely good detail but the finish isn't great um, you can see around the edges of the wheel there some of the paint is missing or it's not molded properly and at the very very back you, if you look through the spokes you can see like um, it's hard to explain Basically, you can see like it just isn't finished properly, and also there you can see there's a little bubble. I'm being very, very picky considering the price of the car. Um, the Alpina logo is correct. It has a little, um, a little cap there to um, to hide the key lock to take the wheels off. You have a valve cap. You have disc brakes up front, and at the back too. Up there you have a um, an aerial. Which if it was a real car would pop up if you turn the radio on. Head around the back. Sorry, this iPhone is not very good today. Um, head around the back. You have a typical E30 rear. I don't think there's anything special about the rear bumper compared to the real car. Um, in my opinion, the back lights let it down slightly. It's not as realistic as the front lights. Um, but as I said before, I'm being very, very picky. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> As you can see, there's a towing eye just there. You have twin exhaust just there. And obviously you have the um, fuel door. Looking in the interior, it's a lovely place to be. Very good detail. I'm trying to get a... <laughs> I'm trying to um, actually film this correct. The amount of detail in this car, inside the car, is amazing. The dashboard is spot on, but I don't know why. This car has four silver buttons along the top, just underneath the air vents, and two silver buttons at the bottom, because usually it's all black. 
Um, I don't know if you can see, just in the rev, the rev counter that is, has red needles. Um, the steering wheel in this car is accurate. It's the correct one for the year. Um, it's a manual um, transmission, has a handbrake, even has like a little, what do you call them, where you put in the, seat, the um, cassette tapes. Yeah, the front of the car is lovely, good quality. But what lets this car down is when you get into the back. The back of the front seats are, well, not that great in my, in my opinion. Um, I don't like the way that these seats are moulded, I don't like that it's missing some paint there. It's just like it was let, like an afterthought, I don't know why. But going around to the back of the back, like the back seats, it's good quality again. You have um, the speakers there. You even have these where the seatbelts plug into with the red buttons. But you don't get any in the front at all. And it's also surprising that there's no some, there's not some kind of like plastic or actual seatbelts themselves. Because I've seen on some of the cheaper cars you get like plastic seat belts even though they don't do anything but they're just there <laughs> apart from that i love this model car very much uh, remember this car is a sealed model so you can't get into the boot you can't get into the bonnet underneath the bonnet um yeah let me know what you think of this car am i being very very fussy i know i'm being very fussy this car wasn't an expensive one um it's a lot more detailed than some of my other cars of the same price range. Um, yeah, and this, as I said before, the steering doesn't turn, but it turns left and right. I should quickly take this car off the stand so you can see underneath the actual car and see if there's any detail underneath there. This car here is held on by four Phillips screws, so bear with me one minute. Here she is in all her glory. I'm sorry there's no beautiful background. Um, I'm quite upset about that to be honest um, yeah this car rolls nicely but as I said before we can't turn the steering there's no suspension but what do you expect at this price range with this kind of detail let's have a quick look underneath the car um, <laughs> I don't like really taking the cars off the stand to be honest but I thought I would for a video so being very very gentle um, there's not much detail underneath the car you get the exhaust pipe um, the wheel well, um, those four um, holes there are where the car screws into for the stand. You see a part of the transmission, and um, yeah, there's not much at all. <laughs> but yeah, for the money, for what you get, the amount of detail compared to the other cars I've had in the past, um, I really like it. Um, I would imagine if this car had a boot which you can open and the bonnet which you could open, it would probably be about double the money or maybe a bit more but yeah so much detail but even have the little air vents behind the um, the dashboard <laughs> and also going into too much detail as I say um, if it was a real E30 the actual dashboard would be cracked and there would be some sort of like wear on the seats but that's just me being stupid but this car I love it very much and I'm very happy let me know what you think down below take care